Okay guys, Mr. Gaff here, and I'm back for part two. So, um, since the last video, I destroyed walls here and here, and I'm thinking of making a little uh, center courtyard right here, and another hallway here, so it'd be a center hall uh, courtyard, and I don't know what else I'd have in it. Probably on the story above, it'd be like a little Roman villa almost. But with a circular little um, castle looking entrance. We'll find out as it goes along. I'll change it up a little bit. So, right here, I'm making a. Um, sticking with my 8 inch walls. Uh, let's see. How long do I want to make this? The last one is 60 inches. I guess I can stick with 60 and 60. I mean 60 feet, sorry. 60 inches would be not that big. There we go, right. Oh. Okay, and then I just square it up. Make it a... Um, Oh yeah, sometimes when you zoom in, it makes it go all the way. I don't know what's up with that. Um, then I'll delete these extra lines. Extra lines. And raise it up and try to find that point. There we go. And that's a wall. And now I do the same thing with this here. I'll, oh no, I can't do that because it's an angled edge. I was going to make a square to show you guys how, to, how that works. Well, I can still do it here though. Make my square right there. Um, is it the right one? Yeah. And then I put that there so it stakes sticks on the edge and eight inches um, that's eight inches seven five sixteenths is pretty much the same thing they switch between them sometimes it really doesn't matter to get it exactly on I don't think five sixteenths of an inch will ever make a difference unless you work for NASA and you're making rocket ships then it might be a little bit of a problem so in that case, in that rare occurrence, I would suggest that you get that 1 16th of an inch correct. But other than that, I think you're pretty much safe by going with uh, the other measurement that I was just talking about. I'm, in. I'm just going to draw the line. Man, this is complicated. There we go. I don't want to have that little gap in the wall, so I'm going to do this to build up my wall. Um, pull her up, pull her up, and there we go. Let's see, looks good. Because um, non-straight lines can really mess up your entire place. I've messed up my original house by having unlevel lines. And then you can pull around. When you pull up, sometimes it will destroy the bottom so you can see my stairs don't have a bottom, which actually might be useful in the case in case I want to uh, put something underneath there. I haven't decided yet. Because in SketchUp, it's really hard to make like a bottom to these stairs. I would have to individually pull up or add a little bit to stair to this each stair instead of just making a general flow upwards because that'd be a curved angle while flowing upwards and SketchUp just glitches out during that. It'd take over like an over an hour just to do that little part. So let's see. Oh, now that I don't have circular areas, I can show you what I meant by the uh, square. Actually, probably shouldn't have built these um, 
walls up. I try to make a floor plan first. Okay. So a square. That's golden section. Squares right there. See so seven seven seventh eighths. Seven seventh eighths. I hope that's right. Seven and seven eighths. Um. Come out here. Do my line. That's uh, that's not what I want actually. I'm gonna want it from th that wall to allow for the other walls. Hold up, that was right the first time. Okay, so we got that. And then if I try to make another section, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to go back on top of this wall, make a square. Why is this six seventh eighths? Is this, did I really measure it wrong? You guys probably saw that right away when I made it. Oh yeah, it is. But that's easy to fix, I think. Oh, kind of. If I just pull this out an inch. Is that an inch? 13 sixteenths. Yeah, it looks, looks like it's going to be as close as I can get it. I'd like it to pull it out a little bit more, like three sixteenths of an inch. Hold up. Let's see, hopefully that's the right size now. There's my guide tool. Seven seven eighths, perfect. But I probably have lines on the ground now that aren't so perfect. Oh no. Alright, because I was moving the entire section. Okay. So most of these problems can be fixed um, relatively easily, or just Apple Z. As long as you can catch it in time. Like, I was lucky by catching that relatively early. Um, right, so I make my square. And most of this would ha work only uh, maybe like three fourths, seventy five percent um, as fast if I wasn't using this mouse. If I was just using my trackpad on my Mac, but um, let's see. Yeah, I mean I have a laptop, so I'm gonna put Final Cut on real soon. Um, Final Cut Pro Seven. So I have to delete all the videos after posting them to YouTube. So hopefully YouTube never has any problems with my videos and asks me to um, change the audio and have to re-upload them. Okay, get the walls up now. So let's have the walls up. I think I can make that courtyard. I was talking about. Well, I should just delete this. Oops. There we go. Section. Oh, that's already up, so that's fine. There we go. And now for the courtyard. Let's see, how do I want to do this? I think I might just do arches. Arches? Arcs? I don't know. Either that or one big center one in the middle of each. See, I think I'm gonna do one here, one here, and then a big wall in the middle. Or I can do th 
three big ones all the way along. I'll keep it relatively simple, I think. Let's see, so how long is this again? That's not the right measurement. That's not either. That's a diagonal. 61, 9 inches and 7 16th. I'm just going to say that's 62 feet. Um, what am I going to divide that by? I'll leave three. No. Let's see if there's going to be three arches. I'm going to leave two. Two two foot pillars in between the arches, one here. And I'm gonna start with one. So it's two, four, six, eight. That's um fifty-four feet for three arches. Ooh, my brain hurts with all this math. Well it doesn't really, but you know what I mean. I'll figure that out and I'll come back to you guys in a sec. Okay, so here's the finished product of all the arches. Um, this one ended up being smaller than the other ones because I, for some reason my measurements came out wrong. I'm actually going to check that right now. That's too big. That's way too big. And as you can see, this is way too or rather too small. So I don't know what happened, but um, it won't matter too much. And there's pretty much the only thing I have yet to find out on this application is how to um, make this connect so that not that happens, but rather so that this fills out. Because currently it is not filled out, as you can see. So I'm not sure how to do that, but hopefully I will be able to learn how. Ooh, I have an idea, actually. Yeah. There you go. And that failed, I think. Let's see if it is a complete failure or not. Yeah. Just about a complete failure. See? So you can do that, but it's really not worth it. I'll just leave it empty. But yeah, that's um, my tutorial, guys. If you have any questions, just go ahead and leave a comment. Um, I might finish it up if you guys want to. If this video reaches 20 likes, I'll finish the entire thing into a castle villa italian irish bog mansion gnarliness thingamajiggy so yeah 20 likes on this video and i will complete it and just send me a request or just comment um below if there's any certain style you want me to make um so i guess i'll see you guys later